When the first Elgeo Marakwet County Assembly was constituted following the introduction of devolution in Kenya, the men and women tasked with oversight, representation and legislature in this county of champions knew too well the burden on their shoulders. <laughs> The assembly comprises of 20 elected members and 10 who are nominated under the leadership of the speaker and professional staff who serve under the guidance of the clerk to the assembly. Their job was clearly cut out and was to ensure that the House discharges its constitutional mandate as per the expectations of the electorate. One of the immediate tasks included setting up of firm foundational systems and structures of the new county assembly. A lot has happened and uh, the assembly has achieved much. Uh, since we were elected, uh, being the first assembly, I have the privilege to be the first uh, uh, elected uh, speaker of Elgeo uh, Marakwet County. Totally we had to lay the foundation in everything. Uh, remember that we are coming from the former local councils. And so my task as the Speaker of the House was one is to be able to bring the Assembly to a parliamentary status. The assembly also set up a county assembly service board whose role is to supervise and formulate operational policies that guide the house in the discharge of its overall mandate. The other challenge that I had uh, was to ensure that we put up uh, the board. The main aim of the office of, of, of the public member is to ensure that uh, there is fairness. I represent the public, the whole public of Elgeo Marakwet County. Uh, that is uh, constituted by the four sub-counties, that is uh, Keio North, where we are sitting now, uh, Keio South, uh, Marakwet East and Marakwet West. So while we were creating the offices, the office of the public member uh, ensures that we have fairness and balance and, uh, and, 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 and gender is taken care of when we are doing the recruitment. The assembly inherited assets and staff from the defunct Keio and Marquette local authorities and this had to be realigned to fit the new county assembly structure. A strategic plan where we've provided for the administration block. This strategic plan actually is from 2013 to 2017. It's a five-year strategic plan where we have also uh, put down how we intend to do capacity building, how we intend to empower the members to do their legislative work, how we intend to empower members to do their oversight role, and uh, how we intend to raise funds to be able to meet uh, this uh, strategic plan. We are to ensure that we have adequate, competent staff. You will agree with me that we were using the former Eten Council Hall. We never had uh, committee rooms. We never had uh, modern, uh, you know, staff offices. We never had a lunch. Uh, uh, we never had uh, several other facilities. So one of the things that we had to be more deliberate as a board is to ensure that one is we ensure that there are physical structures that is able to help us in facilitation. Other staff employed at the assembly were competitively recruited to ensure their competencies suited the needs of the house in offering professional support to members. Mm, I, I, I take note 
that uh, the LK Marquette County Assembly is among the first assemblies to ensure that we professionalize our county assembly staff. The journey to establish a fully-fledged assembly was no easy task and it required support from partners in building the capacity of members and staff through various training. Again, I want to thank uh, uh, CPST, Center for Parliamentary Study Training, led by Professor Nyokabi. That is one body that has helped us to build and to train the members of count, uh, committees in, in, in the assembly. We, we had to ensure that we get the best knowledge. And if you look at it critically, if you look at the level of consultants, by the way, that the assembly has been engaging, we are talking people like, uh, you know, the former uh, clerk of the National Assembly, Patrick Ishui. That has been our mentor. We are having people like uh, Arab Kirui, who is uh, working in the National Assembly. Those are the top note fellows who are specialists in uh, parliamentary, uh, you know, procedures and rules. The Assembly, through the Speaker, also worked to ensure that the House was fully autonomous to enable it discharge its duties independently, which included financial independence. I'm happy to report that I was one of the persons who was involved in negotiating. Through continuous capacity building, the Assembly has been able to legislate progressive motions and bills that have been passed into law. Members are today better equipped to conceptualize issues such as the budgeting process in a robust manner. I want to say that uh, El Gio uh, uh, County has really tried and uh, in some instances even they are there, there have been the first county assemblies in the, in the country to pass some law, like uh, the, the, the Act of uh, Public Participation. I think this was the first county. Uh, the Alcoholic uh, Control uh, Act, El Gio Maracuet was uh, the first one to uh, pass that law. I'm seeing generics and fashions of it appearing in other assemblies. The people in Gilea, now I can use a vijana or fanye, Kazi, now I can buy a pombe to no. Watu wameendelea saidi vijana wa wadogo wenye walikuwa mapotea katika pombe wakati huo wamefanya kazi kama ya boda boda uh, We've done a lot of motions uh, members have already investigated a lot of things uh, among the last one or the latest one was this of Chiborowa where the, the assembly gave their determination uh, in terms of that and uh, that is something that I like it the most uh, these motions have forced us to take corrective action to advance the views and the aspirations of our counters of our county. Uh, one of such side bills that has been one such policy is the environmental policy, which has forced us now to go into immediately proactively address the issue of land in riparian areas and uh, water catchment areas that needs to be preserved. And uh, this again is the pioneer work of the county assembly. Members of the County Assembly have also prioritized their representation roles, always ensuring the concerns and aspirations of their constituents get preference on the flow of the House. Personally, I think uh, uh, they are doing their work well. On its oversight role, the Assembly has continued to discharge its duty efficiently and impartially while maintaining a cordial relationship with the Executive. This has allowed the County Government to implement its development agenda steadily, without the usual conflicts and stalemates witnessed in other parts of the country. Uh, one of the reasons as to why uh, we've enjoyed a lot of stability as a County Government is because there has been some cordial working relationship between the executive and the assembly. We have been able to exchange ideas to help one another here and there because this is a new system. As much as uh, the work of uh, the county assembly is to oversight the executive, I uh, want to appreciate the fact that uh, the working relationship in El Geo Maracuja between the two arms of government uh, is cordial. Uh, basically, I want to say that uh, they are doing their oversight role. The Count Assembly of Elgeo Marakwet has been very supportive to the executive. 
in the sense that uh, we've had all our budgets approved on time by the county assembly. El Geomarokwet County Assembly was the first assembly in Kenya to have passed the Public Participation Act, a move that has received accolades and ensured the participation of the electorate in the county governance. I came with a bill again for public participation in this house that we require all members of county of El Geomarokwet to be given an opportunity to participate in resource allocation or decision making that the government will not do anything unless they are subjected to public participation. And therefore, I'm proud that, that I'm a member or I'm the, the initiator of that, uh, of that bill. Uh, the Constitution is very clear on this, that uh, the, the public has got the, over, over, the overall mandate as far as these decisions in this country used to be under Article 1. Uh, enzi zile za makanzi las kuna vitu mingi ilikuwa inatupita sana kama wakitaka kufanya maendeleo tunastukia tu kama watu wa barabara wamekuja wamefanya barabara hawa kwa wanakuja kutangulia kuuliza wanafunzi eh, wa, wanainzi maoni yao ni nini since the enactment of the Public Participation Act, the Assembly has also led by example by engaging in public outreach and engagement before making decisions or passing laws affecting local residents. You will agree with me again that uh, when we came here, public participation was one of the things that was inside my heart. Uh, we were the first count assembly in the Republic of Kenya to come up with the Public Participation Act. And that is the act that is now helping us even to de disseminate information to the, to the lowest administrative uh, unit, and that is the ward. Tunafraia kaudi kwa sababu, hakuna kitu ile wanafanya bila ku involve the public. Tunafraia hiyo kabisa. The people themselves at the ground decide what should be done and what should be left. That has really made us to be part uh, of all the all kind of the process. The Assembly has also adopted technology in the day-to-day -day running of its affairs, ensuring professional, timely and paperless discharge of duties by both members and staff. I, we tried to reach out to USAID and uh, through that proposal that I wrote to USAID, they were able to do two things. One, they were able to take the members of Conda Assembly, all the 30 members of Conda Assembly to Kabarak university where they were trained on how to use computers and the other day uh, and I think it's very good to say that uh, members of Senate came here to ICT and they gave us a commendation for the answer uh, that uh, we managed to procure we are told that actually our chamber uh, once it's open is going to be among the, the top two uh, best chambers in the Republic of Kenya and I so far this is the only system in all the counties that has the automated control within the whole country. So they are going to be the first ones to enjoy the, to enjoy the systems which are at par with the Senate and the National Parliament. On the north, we have a clear policy in the Assembly that website of the Assembly must be interactive the Assembly has however had its fair share of challenges, but with closer collaboration with the executive and development partners, things are looking up. We sat down with the departments concerned and we came up with a roadmap on how we are going to solve these issues and from that time we never had an issue. I think first of all, uh, most of these challenges will be solved by uh, having uh, maybe departments working closely with their committees. This is one of the counties that have also uh, promoted healthy personnel to our different uh, job groups and, and, and despite having little allocations of money. So this has been a good achievement for this county. Uh, 
With meager resources, the Assembly has also initiated several modern infrastructural developments. These include construction of perimeter wall, gate, sentry, an ongoing cafeteria project, ward offices and refurbishment of its chambers. Three years down the line, El Geomaraquet County Assembly has clearly made strides. It is evident that its vision to be a model county assembly in the country is steadily being realized.